Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. As you have already seen in the title, today I'll be showing you how to make traditional Christmas sorrel drink. Did I say that right? Christmas sorrel. Traditional Christmas sorrel drink. <laughs> Anyways, today I'll be showing you how to make sorrel. Sorrel is a traditional drink something that we always drink on christmas in my household and most household um, households in jamaica it is made from the hibiscus plant i don't remember the full because you have different types of hibiscus but i'll, I'll put it somewhere here it is made from um hibiscus plant and if you want to see how i made this sorrel please continue watching this video before we even jump in the video, let me just um, throw this out there, a disclaimer. It is my first time making sorrel. My mother usually makes it, but I'm 100% sure that I got this recipe down. I may make it a little different from you, but trust me, it tastes the same. It tastes awesome. Unless you add like additional ingredients, it may taste a little different. But trust me, this tastes really good. Really good. So, continue watching. So, where I'm living in Japan, I'm unable to get fresh sorrel like we use in Jamaica. If you live in Okinawa, you might be able to find sorrel, but I don't live anywhere close to Okinawa, so um, dried sorrel have to do. I actually got these two bags from a lady that used to sell things in Tokyo. She recently um, left Japan, so uh, I got this before she left for 2,000 yen thing you want to do is get a big pot and put the desired amount of water in that pot and put it on a stove to boil so meanwhile that water is boiling you want to prep your all your ingredients uh, I'm here I'm prepping my ginger first I am washing the ginger with a brush a clean brush that i only use to uh, wash food and i also use it to wash like my strainer so it's a clean brush that you use in the kitchen don't go to the bathroom and get a brush it's just nasty so i'm using a brush to um wash the ginger that has skin one pack has skin and one doesn't the pack that doesn't have skin all i will be doing is rinsing um that pack properly under uh, the running water so what I'm doing here is um, cutting off some parts of the ginger that look um, as if it was like going bad. I'm not peeling the ginger. That's not what I'm doing. What I'm doing next is I'm cutting the ginger into smaller pieces because I will be blending my ginger. A lot of people prefer to grate but I don't like grating anything. I tend to like grate my finger or my fingers rather. So what I'm doing is um, blending my ginger but it's totally up to you. You can grate your ginger or you can blend your ginger for your sorrel. And I actually thought that I was using like too much sorrel. As you will see soon, I did put away a piece, which I regret because um, I can taste the ginger in my sorrel, but I wish it was hotter. Like I really like when it, you drink it, I go, <coughs> you know, <laughs> that, <laughs> that um, sound. It's hot. Like when you're drinking ginger beer, I want it like really, really, really um, gingery. It has a lot of ginger, but like, um, it could use a little more for me not for everyone because not everyone can manage that amount of ginger and i was giving um someone some so i didn't want to use too much anyways uh, talking about that the other day i think i was in last year not even the other day i saw someone post um on i think it was facebook saying that release the shackles uh, it's not exactly i don't remember it exactly Some, it goes something like this um release the shackles um caribbean people um i can't remember but something like that um uh, he's saying that up to the drink spicy that's the story that he was talking because um it's gingery so he was basically saying that we should um 
for you to shut clothes that Thai um, Caribbean people to spicy food. Something of that sort. But it was really, really, really funny to me. And I was like, <laughs> you're right, man, you're right. But I like my sorry, like, really gingery. I am a big believer in cleaning while you go. Yes, 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 yes. Um, what I'll be doing next is uh, prepping the sorrel. So the sorrel may have been dried outside, I don't know. But you have to wash the sorrel because remember, it's a plant and we don't know exactly how it was dried or where it was dried. So we still have to wash it. I'm not going to wash it like many times, three, four, five, no, but I'm still washing it. bag has three and a half pounds this is of um, sorrel it's in the, the dried state so uh, i'm using both it's um seven ounces all together but it's the first time preparing so i decided to use both because it, it didn't seem like a lot so i would suggest uh washing the sorrel in cold water and also not letting it sit in the water for any long period of time. You just you just want to rinse off those debris. Debris? Debris? Whatever, you know what I'm saying, that, that dirt. So I remember taking food and nutrition in 9th grade or 10th grade. I did it from um, 9th to 11th grade. But I'm talking about a uh, class that I did with Miss Carr, I think. Uh, she told us about bleaching. That is... Um, I don't remember the exact definition, but I know it is like when the nutrients come out of um, something that you're cooking or something that you're preparing, when they, it comes out in water. So what you're seeing there um, is leaching. I think it's leaching because um, the color is coming out, which means that something is being released from um, the hibiscus plant or the soil plant, as we call it in Jamaica. So I would suggest uh, rinsing it with um, cold water because... Um, warm water would even would be even worse don't worry guys um if you see the red <laughs> it is supposed to look red and as i mentioned before i think it's leaching i'm not 100 percent sure anyways as you can see i washed it once in the bowl and then i um use a strainer and um put it under the water one more time to rinse because i'm not about to lose all of that um nutrients or whatever is coming out so while I'm waiting for my water to boil, I'm catching up on some YouTube videos. It's sad, but I do not like to be left alone with my thoughts. I'm always watching something or listening to something. Next, uh, the water started boiling, so I added the ginger. And I'm going to leave that to boil for about two minutes. No more than two minutes. Some people add dried orange peel and cinnamon to their sorrel i don't really like it with um those but if you decide to add those things to your sorrel this would be the moment where you add those with the ginger so remember sorrel uh not sorrel uh gin what am i saying um <laughs> dried orange peel and cinnamon bark after the ginger boils for about two minutes i go ahead and add my sorrel so after adding that sorrel you want to go ahead and immediately stir and cover your pot and turn the stove off right away turn the stove off and leave that to cool for 12 to 24 hours some people suggest even up to two days so it's the next day and i've washed all my stuff that i'm going to use and I'm ready to strain that soil off. Don't mind the peanut in the corner. I'm going to make some porridge with that peanut. So as you can see, I'm using a strainer as well as a piece of uh, cloth. It's a very clean cloth that I use for straining things. Very clean cloth. You want to use a clean cloth and a clean hand when you're doing this. The reason for the cloth is... Um, Ensuring that none of the little particles go through and you're tasting like things while you're drinking the sorrel. I don't have a cheesecloth, so I use these ones. I, I don't, I buy them in Daiso, I think. Um, some little cotton, thin cotton cloths and I use them to strain things. But if you have a, a cheesecloth, that would be better. But I don't have a cheesecloth. So I'm straining my sorrel with uh, my strainer and that little cloth. 
can you see how rich that is by the way i had to block my mom out because i was talking to her and she was like getting ready to go to work so work i think i don't remember but she was changing so i had to block her out anyways um you see how rich that is and guys um remember that the amount of water you use is dependent on the amount of soil you have and how strong you want your soil i wanted mine like really rich because then i know i'm going to add like um rum and ice which is going to water it down so i made mine a little rich but it's totally up to you and your preference but just ensure that when you're making the soil uh you have enough soil like to cover every part in the pot you don't want to be like just boxing two pieces of soil over here so i'm box two pieces over there so no it needs to be like all over the pot even if you're trying to make it like a little lighter you can't have like three pieces of soil in a big pot of water anyways as you can see i'm i'm straining that out which took like a longer time than i expected because i didn't expect so much soil i i was actually just expecting that little jug there that i got but you'll see soon the amount that i got from it So that's the amount that I got from that little pot. It's a lot. I really wasn't expecting that much. I'm going to go ahead and just sweeten that little um, jar and show you. So all I'm going to do is just use some sugar. It's best to use granulated sugar. If you are diabetic, you can go ahead and use a sugar substitute. I think Splenda will work well um, with this. So I'm just sweetening... Um, that little container and remember um adding sugar to your sorrel um is always what you prefer i like mine a little sweet as you you can see a pattern here right i like mine gingery rich sweet i like mine a little sweet and some people like my grandmother and my mother they don't like um sweet sorrel but i like mine a little sweet so i'm going ahead and um sweeten it that i'm um, sweetening that amount so i can see what it tastes like i've adapted my grandmother's habit of um saving every little thing i've had that um empty wine bottle for a while now a little vodka was still in that vodka bottle but i threw it out so i could store the story as you can see i got um a good amount from um that one pot so guys, it's so good that while you were busy watching that video, I went ahead to drink my whole cup. Yes, it's that good. So um, I may make it a little different from what you're used to or what your parents or grandparents are used to. But I think I did a pretty good job because it tastes really good. It tastes like my grandmother and my mother um, used to make it. Um, sorrel can be stored for a pretty long time the way my uncle stores sorrel is he add um some rice in the bottom he says that it helps to um, preserve the sorrel my mother hates putting rice in her sorrel so she will just sweeten it and add some rum and as you know um sugar is preservative is a type of preservative as well as um rum so she will just sweeten it and add rum to make it last longer while my um, uncle will just have it in the state that he got it from the pot and add some rice it is totally up to you how um you want to save your sorrel or have it last but personally i don't want any rice in my soil either so what i did with this bottle because i'm not gonna have this bottle for a while i went ahead and added some vodka i cannot find um white rum or what's it called oh my gosh my brain my brain is freezing up i cannot find um jb ray and nephew jerry and nephew white rum or was appleton at this time so i um added some vodka in mine to um, make it last longer some vodka and sugar i still have that the other jug um or container 
um, that's what I will be drinking but this will be here for a while I hope yes so it's totally up to you if you want to store it or if you want to drink it um, right away but I'm storing this for a while and I'll have my drug as the day goes by <laughs> I'm about to get another cup <laughs> yes so guys um if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and thank you for joining me for day four of vlogmas it's really appreciated and um i'm seeing the comments i'm getting the feedback and i really really appreciate it and thank you so much again for watching and if you decide to try my sorrel recipe or if this is the way that you make sorrel please go ahead and comment down below so i can know how it turned out or i can um be reassured that i'm not the only one who makes sorrel this way and i will see you in tomorrow's video too much blabbering right bye Mwah. peace i like doing that <laughs>